President Trump's last stop in Korea was to the Seoul National Cemetery, the resting place for many who died during the Korean War. That concluded the U.S. The U.S.'s first state visit in 25 years, and Trump seems to be leaving with better relations with the Moon Jae-in administration. Kwon Jang-ho has this report. Before leaving for Beijing on Tuesday, President Donald Trump visited the Seoul National Cemetery to honor those who had died in the Korean War. The U.S. leader and first lady laid a wreath at the memorial tower before carrying out a traditional incense burning ritual. The couple also signed the guest book, leaving a message saying, We honor the fallen heroes that lie here. Your sacrifice will always be remembered. President Trump was only in South Korea for just over 24 hours, but it had been a packed schedule, including meetings with President Moon Jae-in, a welcoming ceremony, a state banquet, and a visit to the U.S. military base Camp Humphreys. He even tried to fit in a visit to the demilitarized zone on Wednesday, but that was cancelled mid-air when weather conditions forced his helicopter to turn around. It had been a surprising last-minute decision to go in the first place, as White House officials last week had categorically denied that he would be going due to scheduling difficulties. But Seoul's Blue House officials said that on Tuesday, President Moon had convinced him to change his mind. Trump was said to have been pretty frustrated as it was something he wanted to do, according to the White House press secretary. Another photo opportunity at the DMZ would have sent a further message of improved relations with President Moon and South Korea. But even without it, the mood has been very positive right from the beginning when President Moon gave a surprise welcome for Trump at his first stop at Camp Humphreys and the two shared lunch with the South Korean and U.S. soldiers. Trump thanked President Moon for his hospitality on several occasions and even took to Twitter to express his gratitude. Before Tuesday, there were some concerns about how well the two leaders got along, but this trip seems to have gone a long way to address that. Eyes will now turn to Trump's meeting with Chinese President Xi Jinping, whether that will also have as positive an outcome. Kwon Jang-woo, Arirang News.